Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you with a Wednesday morning video. Uh, obviously, big day with Coursera Gaming, ticker CRSR. Yesterday, if you haven't looked into it or understand why, I'll explain in this video. Before I get into this, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Really trying to get to 600 subs by the end of this month. So just hitting that subscribe button is really appreciated. So Coursera Gaming, uh, it is my third or fourth biggest position in my portfolio now. Ticker is CRSR. If you don't really know what it is, it's basically a gaming company that does like microphones, headphones, keyboards, mouses, computers, basically everything with uh, the gaming industry. Uh, their biggest competitor in my eyes is Logic Tech. So Logic Tech's a way bigger market cap, but I feel like these guys uh, are more like modern and understand the younger generation basically and what they want to see or get. So. Uh, definitely an awesome company, great uh, balance sheet, great CEO. Uh, you know, the, the expectations of this company are super high in my opinion the next couple years. So earnings came out uh, yesterday. They uh, missed on EPS, but I'll get into that in this video. So it closed actually at $27.30. It had a 5% dip off this news. Uh, I think there's a lot of reasons why this is happening, but basically everything's price perfection and if, if there's even one little negative thing in the earnings, the stock's gonna crash. So, uh, you know, it went down 5% yesterday. Um, this is the lowest the stock has been in probably almost a year at this point. So, you know, if you're not in the stock or you want a really, really, really nice growth play in the gaming industry, Buying it now, in my opinion, is a really, really, really good time to buy. I actually uh, bought this today, at, or excuse me, yesterday, at $26.51. Uh, I bought about 15% more of Corsair Gaming at $26.51. I was using technical analysis, and um, it was kind of hard to get the, you know, get the lines on this one because it's been crashing, you know, so hard recently. But uh, I really thought there was going to be a nice uh, resistance level around the 2650 range. So I went in at 2651, actually bounced right off it and went up to like 27. So uh, that's my um, four for four in the past four weeks on basically doing that. So I'm kind of understanding how it works. So it's kind of cool uh, utilizing that, even though I'm a long term investor. You know, it's just nice getting the bottom of a dip, basically. So my, my new cost base is $31.63. So it's still way above that. However, I want to see what the market does in the next couple weeks with the Delta variant and a lot of other things going on. Um, you know, a lot of my bigger companies earnings comes out in the next uh, like two weeks. So I just want to make sure I have cash around just to take advantage of deals. But that's my cost base. Great time to buy if you're not in it. Uh, I did buy yesterday too. So I did say if I'd make videos on when I bought, bought it yesterday. Uh, Q2 earnings, revenue uh, year to year. They uh, did beat. They year to year they had 472 million. Uh, analysts predicted 467 mil. So they did beat there in revenue, which is awesome. That means people are, you know, just spending money on this brand. Uh, they own multiple brands too. Um, but yeah, uh, this company's exceeded revenue. This is where it was kind of you know the bad news per se. Uh, the EPS they were expecting. Uh, 39 cents, they came in at 36. So, is what it is. I mean, it's really not really that off, in my opinion. But again, everything's price to perfection in this market. And, uh, you know, that's, that, that's going to make a stock correct for sure. One thing you got to keep in mind they do have $138 million in cash and uh, cash equivalents on the balance sheet. So, that's a lot of cash to work with. They can acquire a lot of smaller companies, which they, they do do. When, when something they really like, they usually buy out, and that's that. Uh, you know, one thing to note in the conference call, they did gain all, uh, they gained growth in all segments. And just like everything else, just like, you know, Tesla and all that stuff, the one time, you know, they did say like anything like chip related, if there was like lead times or issues with it, you know, that definitely hurt the growth too, but they gained growth in all segments. So that's that's huge with even with the chip shortages. So imagine when things get a little more back to normal and the chips aren't shortages anymore. So thoughts, you know, love the stock still. Obviously, I bought average cost down. Haven't changed my opinion on the long-term perspective of this company. I honestly never thought it was gonna go under 30 again after the recent dip. 
So I would say to take advantage of this. If this stock continues to go down, like let's just say it gets to like, you know, 25 or like 26 even, you know, I most likely will buy again. And if I do, I'll make a video. But if it doesn't, I'm really happy with my position. It's it's basically 90% filled out at this point. So if it goes up, great. If it goes down, great. It's kind of a win-win for me as a long-term investor. Still love this company. And uh, yeah, so that's really all I got on this one. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down there. It's much appreciated. And until tomorrow, peace.